This is the Sweet and Sour Show, and we are back with uh, Chris. And Chris, what are you doing? I put my coat backwards and forwards. Anyway, I've lost my mind. We've got Stephen Ashcroft tonight with us. The entrepreneur Stephen Ashcroft. Hello, Stephen. How you doing, guys? We're all right. We are right. He is the one. Uh, Nice one for having me on, man. It's like brilliant what you guys are doing. You know what I mean? Podcasts are like a really big thing right now. Um, you know, and you know what you guys are doing is amazing. So yeah, keep it up. Like, I hope it goes really well. Thank you. So let me give the introduction. If you remember, on the first podcast we did, we introduced an artist named AB Sparta. Chris was so excited to talk about the man behind this artist. He's here. Awesome respect, Chris. Respect. Um, respect. Amy Sparta, yeah, great artist. Brilliant, brilliant artist. Um, the music, great. Um, brilliant artist to work with as well. We completed an album with him. Yeah. Um, called Euro Vibes. Um, he, that's on all major platforms, iTunes, Spotify, all that sort of stuff. Um, real, real dancehall vibe, you know? It is. Um, yeah, very nice. That was, ex- that was exciting to work on that album because, you know, we got the support of a lot of companies. Yeah. Um, you know, some major companies, actually. Um, yeah, so the music videos turned out really well. Um, yeah, and, and I did notice because uh, uh, on your first podcast, yeah. uh, Chris sent me the link, um, and I didn't realise that you actually spoke about that. Yes, um, you spoke. You spoke about one of the music videos um, uh, on you your first on. podcast. I didn't. I didn't know till I watched it. So yeah, thanks for that. You're welcome. Amazing, and that's what I actually said when we reviewed the song because obviously we, we was reviewing the song. We were stopping it and talking about what we've seen and. Um, I was like pointing out the car and what the car it is and what airplane it is and everything. And in the end, when it came up with sponsored by, you know, there was some big names there. And that's what, like, for people like me and Dee, that matters, you know. It doesn't matter for you to have a, a Google campaign or, or a Facebook campaign to get your views to 100,000 to 5 million or whatever. You've got a big campaign team behind you. Yeah, okay, that counts, but at the same time, it does count as an entrepreneur to be able to bring these big companies into sponsoring your project that is not backed by Universal or EMI or any big company. So that was a big respect from us in our first podcast as a review. Awesome, awesome. Nice one. Nice one, which is which, that's a very interesting point because... You know, um, it, did, it did take a lot of work to actually gain the gain the support of these companies. So, um, you know, so shout out to Saxon Air and Holiday Inn and um, Herbert Woods and... And at the NCS, the label. It's not just the label, it's the sort of uh, umbrella of projects, really. Uh, I, I want to make a movie. Um, eventually uh which i'm writing i wrote a script for but um i've now got a very talented author uh which is turning my movie script screenplay into a novel book right. um so that'll be the plan to get the movie um the movie noticed yeah. um by the novel book um, okay yeah so that's, that's all exciting stuff I know, I know the title. It's Calm as a Bit B. Calm as a B, obviously. Calm as a B, yeah. yeah we know yeah. what the B stands for. We all for. know Calm what the B stands for, but we'll keep yeah. it. Yeah. So that, that is the next project. Um, 
of yourself as an entrepreneur is calm with a B out as a book. I know that last year at some point it was supposed to be a movie, like you said, there's been some complications with that, so that's going to be a book. Um, there's a few more business ventures that you've gone down. Um, so what what about uh, No Fuck uh, Goes Dating? Norfolk Dates. Yeah. Uh, Norfolk, Norfolk Dates. Um, yeah, another exciting project. Um, before all the lockdowns and stuff, we filmed three pilot shows. Yeah. Um, and the whole idea of uh, Norfolk Dates is um, to bring bring people together and, um, and find, essentially find people their match, you know? Yeah. But, um, the, the model of it, um, I'm creating an, uh, an app at the moment. So, you know, like Tinder? Yes. Yep. So you can, you know, swipe left and right on people and matches and stuff like that. So that'll be the application process for the actual show itself. Right. That's amazing. It's um, a good idea. So yeah, that'll be kind of, that'll be kind of cool. So they'll so they'll match. People will be able, single terms will be able to match with each other. Yeah. And then they'll be able to chat with each other. And then there'll be a super match. But and when they're ready, they can they can hit that. That'll come through to us, and then they'll be considered for casting on the show. So it's all exciting stuff. That is an amazing business model. Esen essentially, you know, with with um, a lot of the shows. Um, a lot of a lot of the dating shows that are out there, you know, are suspected to be scripted, um, already scripted. Um, they match people together, you know, that haven't seen or even spoke to each other. So it gives a nice difference, you know. You know, people can chat yeah, beforehand. Um, so essentially, like like a normal dating app would be. So they'll sign up, they'll chat, you know, they'll arrange their date. Yeah. And but. In this case, they'll arrange their own date and apply for the show together. So anyone in the UK um, can sign up for it. Okay. Um, applicants to that get casted on the show, at least one person has to be within Norfolk. Okay. Okay. Um, hence, obviously, Norfolk dates. So at least one person yeah. needs to be um, a Norfolk resident to be casted. So, but yeah, anyone in the UK can. Um, can use the app and sign up. The Norfolk Dates dot app. Um, it's already live. Okay. Um, it's not being majorly promoted at the moment um, because we don't really want to film until summer. Okay. Um, we're yeah. converting the web app into a PWA, which means basically um, you can download the app to your phone like a um, like a normal mobile app from the App Store. Except you have to download the app from our actual website, so um, oh. we're waiting for that to be done. Um, yeah, and then uh, I'm hoping by summertime, ready to rock and roll. Amazing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's nice. <laughs> Amazing. NCS the label. We spoke for AB Sparta. We spoke about like some major companies sponsoring um, your video with AB Sparta. But if uh, if you had to say like uh, like a story, like. How did it start? What was the aim? Obviously, you've said that NCS as a label isn't just music. It's part of an umbrella project. You're dating up, your book, your movies, everything coming out is under NCS. But NCS as a music industry, if you could just give us like a quick recap of what the aim was, what the aim is, where we are at the moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I started um, NCS within music. And, um, you know, the aim was um, to get uh, a set of artists, um, talented artists that have never been seen or heard from before. Um, have them work with each other, um, build each other up and whatnot. Um, one, in, one in particular artist, Davey Sparta, uh, we made an album uh, with him. We already spoke about that. Yeah. Um, which was good. Uh, that was a lot of fun making that and working with him as well. He's a good artist. Um, and then just went on um, to do other ventures and do other things. I'm thinking about, I, I'm thinking about um, getting a selection of artists together 
um, including Lady Spa and some other artists that I've worked with in the past, um, together to make an overall album with all of them on it. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about that. But that's not something that um, I think I'm going to be doing anytime soon. I need to focus on um, some other projects that I've got, you know, at the moment. Definitely. But yeah, possibly, yeah, in the future. The book's going to be out, published in May. Okay. Reason being in May is because um, I've got a friend called Mason. Um, shout out to Mason, by the way, top bloke. Hello, Mason. Um, you know, he's, um, he's doing really well. He um, made a movie called The Drugs Game uh, with another friend of mine, um, Clark. And um, that's on Amazon as well. Um, on Amazon Prime, if you check that out, it's called The Drugs Game. Um, you know, a great English movie. Um, and my friend Mason got picked up um, by an agent from that movie. Um, and in which Mason um, did an audition for Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Um, for the new Netflix TV series, The Gentleman, which is now being filmed. Whoa, whoa. So um, that, that's so yeah, that's all exciting stuff. Um, he's filming with Guy Ritchie at the moment, and that filming um, he said ends in May. So um, the author, the author that's going to be turning uh, my screenplay movie into a, a book novel uh, are sort of like you know deadline on that is sort of May because Mason's um, kindly said that. When it's published, he'll hand the book to Guy Ritchie for consideration on the movie. That's, on that's the amazing. The movie. So, yeah, so, you know, fingers crossed on that. And, you know, shout out to Mason. Shout out, Mason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Mason. Get Ham as a B to Hollywood, and I want a role in it. I want a role in Ham as a B. I'll be Karma. Basically, they say that when, uh, when uh, you know, you hate someone so much, you say, oh, I'm going to... See, that's, uh, hope... that's, 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 that's the thing. There's a, there's a very good plot twist within the story, so... Um, and you won't know what the... There's a plot twist, even with the name. I mean, there's some very clever twists and plots in the, in the, in the story. I've got an author that's uh, writing... Um, calm as a bee, um, and he's doing an amazing job. So, like, chapter one to three is done at the moment. Yeah. Um, so it's well under, it's well underway. We're definitely going to come back um, on our next episode. We've got Eddie Sparta as well, so we'll we'll we'll, um, we'll talk to Eddie Sparta as well. Oh, already he is. Obviously, like you know, a big fan of yourself. Thank you so much, um, Stephen, for being on our podcast. It's it's been an honour. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for having me on, guys. He'll tell you it's uh, it's been an honour. I was uh, I was kind of stressing and wanted to make everything right because you're down so many ventures. There's so many things that we had to cover. I wanted to cover all of them properly. Um, I'm a big fan of yourself as a person and as an entrepreneur. Um, Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. So stay tuned because Steven is going to be back with the book. And you can't believe that. You can't believe that. When the book is ready, we're going to put a link on the under the video so you can get it. And when we have the movie, again, we're going to put links under. So give your thoughts, give your comments and yeah. say to us what you think about it, what, what's your thoughts, are you going to see the movie? Actually, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll put a link underneath until the book is out. If anybody has any questions for you, they can post the questions underneath this video. No problem. Sounds good, why not? <laughs> Thank you very much, Stephen. Have a lovely, lovely night. Cheers, Thank guys. You, and we'll Cheers, wish guys. You the best. Thanks again. The sweet and sour